Andy Avedis. Welcome to our factory. Today, I'll show you exactly how, inside the giant squid skin processing plant, how ocean monsters become. Watch the starboard line. Easy now. Bring her up steady. We're almost clear. Lower it gently onto the cradle. Watch the tentacles. It's settled. All right, I'm starting the ratchet now. Two turns. Automated laser scanners sweep blue grid lines across the squid's mantle and tentacles, capturing thickness, density, and structural mapping. Robotic clamps lower the squid mantle into a pre-soak vat filled with industrial cleansing solution that softens dense fibers. The squid skin rests on elevated drying racks under controlled warm airflow to prepare it for tanning. Ultrasonic cleaning chambers vibrate impurities loose as the mantle passes slowly through the enclosed tunnel. This spike here, absorption levels look inconsistent. I agree. Let's calibrate the flow rate and then check the saturation data again. The drum rotates slowly, allowing tanning agents to penetrate the squid's thick, rubber-like collagen layers. Steam jets soften the dense squid fibers, while automated systems regulate humidity inside the steaming chamber. The consistency around the edges here is perfect. Yeah. And the color depth is within the specified range as well. The dyed mantle dries beneath warm air turbines that help lock in color and prepare the surface for finishing. Robotic rollers press the mantle evenly to ensure consistent thickness across its entire surface. Look here, just above the bevel, see that faint hairline fracture? Yes, I see it. Logging it now.
A cold air finishing tunnel rapidly cools the squid leather to lock in durability and elasticity. How is the uniformity on this edge? It's perfect. Stitch ready. The high pressure bonding system fuses major leather panels together to form the product's structural foundation. The readout is, is holding steady at 0 0.05. Good, the alignment looks perfect across the seam.
final protective conditioner coat is applied to enrich the leather's color and maintain its elasticity.